Let's face it folks, nobody likes an unexpected guest, especially when they overstay their welcome and bring along a musty odor. That's mildew in a nutshell, an unwelcome visitor that sets up camp in damp, dark corners of our homes. You'll find it lurking in bathrooms, kitchens, basements, and even on outdoor furniture. It's not just unsightly, mildew can pose health risks, especially for those with respiratory issues. So, how do we evict this unwanted tenant? Mildew thrives on moisture. It's like a bad house guest who never leaves and keeps multiplying. Left unchecked, it can spread like wildfire, staining surfaces and filling your home with that unpleasant musty smell. It's important to tackle mildew early on, both for the sake of your home's aesthetics and for the health of your family. Now you might be thinking bleach is the go-to solution for mildew. While bleach can be effective, it's not always the safest or most pleasant option. Thankfully, there's a safer, more versatile solution hiding in your garage, WD-40. In the following sections, we'll explore why WD-40 works wonders on mildew and how to use it effectively. You might be surprised to learn that WD-40, the handyman's best friend, is also a powerful weapon against mildew. This multi-purpose marvel, originally designed as a rust prevention solvent, boasts a unique formula that makes it a surprisingly effective mildew remover. The secret lies in WD-40's water-displacing properties. Mildew thrives in moist environments. WD-40 effectively repels water creating an environment where mildew can't survive. Think of it as cutting off the mildew's food supply. WD-40 also contains lubricating agents that help loosen mildew's grip on surfaces, making it easier to wipe away. And the best part? WD-40 is readily available, affordable, and relatively safe to use compared to harsh chemicals like bleach. In the next section, we'll gather our cleaning supplies including our star player WD-40 and get ready to tackle that pesky mildew. Remember folks, a clean home is a happy home and with WD-40 on our side, we're well on our way to victory. Before we declare war on mildew, it's crucial to assemble our cleaning arsenal. Thankfully, we won't need any fancy equipment just a few common household items, and our secret weapon, WD-40. Here's what you'll need. 1. WD-40. This is our heavy hitter, the champion of this cleaning match. 2. Rubber gloves. Protect those hands, folks. Mildew is icky and WD-40 can be drying, so gloves are non-negotiable. 3. Cleaning cloth or sponge. You'll need something to scrub with. 4. Bucket of warm water. Water is essential for rinsing away the defeated mildew and WD-40 residue. 5. Old toothbrush. Optional. This handy tool is perfect for reaching tight corners and crevices where mildew loves to hide. With these simple tools and the power of WD-40, we're ready to reclaim our homes from the clutches of mildew. We're about to engage in some serious cleaning combat. And just like any good contractor, safety comes first. Before you unleash the power of WD-40 on that pesky mildew, let's go over some important safety precautions. 1. Ventilation is key. WD-40 has a strong odor so make sure the area you're working in is well ventilated. 2. Protect your skin. Wear those rubber gloves. WD-40 can be drying to the skin and you don't want to be scrubbing away at mildew with bare hands. 3. Shield your eyes. If you're working on a large area or if the mildew is on the ceiling, Consider wearing safety goggles to protect your eyes from potential splashes. 4. Test before you spray. WD-40 is generally safe for most surfaces, but it's always a good idea to test it on an inconspicuous area first. By following these simple safety measures, we can ensure that our mildew removal mission is a success, without any casualties. Section 5. Preparation is key prepping the affected area. All right, we've got our cleaning arsenal ready, we're suited up in our safety gear, now it's time to prepare the battleground. This means prepping the mildew-affected area for its WD-40 takedown. First things first, remove any loose items from the area. This could be anything from shampoo bottles in the shower to picture frames hanging on a mildew-spotted wall. Next, give the affected area a quick once-over with a damp cloth or vacuum cleaner. This will remove any loose dirt, dust, or cobwebs, allowing the WD-40 to work its magic directly on the mildew. Now, if you're dealing with particularly stubborn mildew, you can try giving it a light pretreatment with soapy water. This will help loosen the mildew's grip on the surface, making it even easier for the WD-40 to penetrate and do its job. By taking these simple steps, we're ensuring that the WD-40 can work its magic effectively and efficiently. Section 6, WD-40 in action, applying the solution. 
Now comes the satisfying part, unleashing the power of WD-40 on that unsightly mildew. With our prepped battlefield and our safety gear in place, we're ready to see this miracle worker in action. Grab your can of WD-40 and give it a good shake. Hold the can about 6 to 8 inches away from the mildew-affected area and apply a generous, even coating. Remember, we're not looking to drown the mildew in WD-40, just give it a good soaking. Once you've applied the WD-40, let it sit for a few minutes. This will give the solution time to work its magic, penetrating the mildew and loosening its grip on the surface. Section 7. Time to Scrub Elbow Grease Meets Miracle Spray with the WD-40 having its way with the mildew, it's time to bring in our scrubbing power. This is where a little elbow grease, combined with the mildew-fighting might of WD-40, will really make a difference. Grab your cleaning cloth or sponge, dampen it with warm water, and start scrubbing the mildew-affected area. You should start to see the mildew lifting away with relative ease. For those stubborn mildew patches that refuse to go down without a fight, don't be afraid to apply a bit more pressure. You can also try using an old toothbrush to get into tight corners and crevices where mildew loves to hide. Rinse the cloth frequently in your bucket of warm water to remove the mildew and WD-40 residue. Section 8. Rinse and repeat, ensuring a mildew-free finish. Now that we've given that mildew a good scrubbing, it's time to rinse away the remnants and ensure a sparkling clean finish. This step is crucial, folks, as it removes any lingering WD-40 residue and leaves your surfaces looking their best. Grab your bucket of warm water and a clean cloth or sponge, thoroughly rinse the treated area, making sure to remove all traces of WD-40 and mildew. Once you've rinsed the area thoroughly, dry it completely with a clean, dry cloth. Remember, mildew thrives in moist environments, so leaving any dampness behind is an open invitation for those pesky spores to return. If you're dealing with a particularly stubborn mildew infestation, you might need to repeat the WD-40 application and scrubbing process a second time. Section 9. Prevention is better than cure keeping mildew at bay. Congratulations folks, you've successfully evicted those pesky mildew tenants from your home. But our work isn't done yet. Just like any good homeowner knows, prevention is key to maintaining a clean and healthy living space. So, let's discuss some proactive measures to prevent mildew from staging a comeback. 1. Control moisture levels. Keep humidity levels in check by running exhaust fans during showers and cooking, using dehumidifiers in humid areas, and ensuring proper ventilation throughout your home. 2. Address leaks promptly. Leaky pipes, faucets, and roofs are mildew magnets. Don't ignore those drips and drops. Address any leaks immediately to prevent moisture buildup and create an inhospitable environment for mildew. 3. Keep it clean and dry. Regular cleaning is your first line of defense against mildew. Wipe down surfaces prone to moisture such as bathroom tiles, shower stalls, and kitchen counters with a mild detergent and dry them thoroughly. 4. Don't forget the outdoors. Mildew isn't just an indoor nuisance. Clean outdoor furniture, decks, and patios regularly, and store cushions and fabrics in a dry place during the off-season. Section 10. WD-40. Your multi-purpose household hero. By now, you're probably realizing that WD-40 is more than just a rust buster, it's a true multi-purpose household hero. From silencing squeaky hinges to removing stubborn adhesives, WD-40 has earned its place in countless toolboxes and under countless sinks, but its versatility extends far beyond its original intended use. We've seen firsthand how effectively it tackles mildew, but its magic doesn't stop there. WD-40 can also be used to remove crayon marks from walls. Spray a little WD-40 on a clean cloth and gently rub the crayon marks. Shine stainless steel appliances. WD-40 can help restore the shine to your stainless steel appliances. Apply a small amount to a soft cloth and buff to a brilliant finish. Prevent snow buildup on shovels. Spray your snow shovel with WD-40 before tackling those winter walkways. Detangle jewelry. A quick spritz of WD-40 can help loosen knotted chains and bracelets. These are just a few examples of WD-40's incredible versatility. Section 11. A clean home, a happy home, enjoying the fruits of your labor. There you have it, folks. You've learned how to effectively combat mildew using a surprisingly effective weapon, WD-40. Remember, a clean home is a happy home. And by tackling those mildew woes head-on, you're creating a healthier and more enjoyable living space for yourself and your loved ones. So go ahead. Take a deep breath of fresh, mildew-free air and enjoy the fruits of your labor. A clean home is a happy home and with the help of WD-40, you're well on your way to creating a sanctuary you can be proud of.